There's a fire alarm. Emergency. There's a fire. Let's get in the fire truck. Okay, let's get in. Do you want to come? Let's drive to the fire and put the fire out. We can put the fire out and become famous. Okay. <laughs> Making the little fire engine is easy and it's really fun. Let's watch what Delwyn does. So, once you've chosen all the boxes you're going to use, the first step is going to be taping them all together. You can see that Delwyn is ripping the tape with her hands. But if you're having trouble doing that, you can get an adult to help you with scissors. So, you want to make sure it's very well taped together, so none of the boxes are going to fall away when you're painting it, and you want to make sure every box is taped on. Once you've got that done, it's time to start moving on to painting it. 
We painted ours red all the way around first, and then we made sure to paint our ladder black so it would have a nice contrast with the rest of the fire engine. Then we did all the extra details that you're gonna see in the next shot. Have a close look at the windows and at the headlights, and have a look at how we painted on the wheels. So I hope you enjoyed the videos on how to make a little fire engine. Now, let's see how John and Yvette are doing with their bigger engine. Well, we're off to painting ours. So why don't we talk about what you're going to need to paint your fire engine. The main body of both our engines is being done in red. So you're going to need a red paint. We have a black paint that we're using for the cabin. And we also have a white paint that we're using for the windows and the ladder and the headlights. And we have a yellow paint for highlights that we're using for the hazard stripes and for the headlights as well. Are we going to have yellow headlights on ours, Nevada? Yeah, and you can also see that we haven't put our ladder on because, like, we want to finish painting and then after we, when we put our ladder on, we can show you. Yeah, you know, it's really lucky for us that we had these holes and flaps in the top of our boxes already. But if your box doesn't have a hole in the top, you should get an adult to help you make one. And one last thing, you might need some tape to hold it all together. Boing. So, while Navid and John keep painting their engine, why don't we have a story? We've got a little story today about Freddy the fire truck. Are you ready? Freddy the fire truck. Freddy the fire truck likes to put out fires and rescue. He uses his long ladder to reach tall buildings and his long hose to squirt the fires. One day, Freddy drove to rescue a tiny kitten stuck high in a tree. Oh no! Freddy spied a big tan dog under the tree. The dog was barking loudly. Freddy doesn't usually feel scared when he puts out fires, but today Freddy was frightened by the noisy dog. He saw the tiny kitten crouched on the branch. The kitten was crying. Meow! Meow! Oh no! The big barking dog was jumping up and down all around the tree trunk. Freddy knew he must be brave and save the kitten. He slowly crept closer to the tree and raised his ladder up, up, up to reach the branch. The big barking dog ran away from the tree. But then Freddy noticed the big dog climbing up, up, up his long ladder. Oh no, the dog reached the crouching kitten on the branch. Before Freddy could drive away, the big dog opened his mouth and gently picked up the tiny kitten by the scruff of her neck and carried her safely down Freddy's ladder. Wow, Freddy exclaimed in surprise. He hadn't expected that. Thank you, fire truck for helping me rescue my kitty friend, said the tan dog. You sure are a brave fire truck. Freddy happily drove back to the station, pleased of another excellent rescue. Did you enjoy that story, Freddy the fire truck? I love Johnny's moving pictures. Well, that's all we've got for you today in Ida's music room. So we're going to say goodbye. Oh, and goodbye, Luca James. I hope you enjoyed. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Bye.